Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kai. So today I'm going to do a, a background and I get asked a lot like, you know, to do more backgrounds, simple backgrounds, beginner backgrounds. And I ask a lot, uh, I am asked a lot of uh, what to put on those backgrounds. We have people who uh, probably uh, like I am who have tons of backgrounds and don't have anything on top of them or, uh, you know, you're nervous, you're starting out, you want to do a background, not real sure. So we're going to just do the, you know, I'm going to do a real quick talk about uh, things in my art journal that are very uh, easy and expensive that you can do in an art journal or on an ATC card or painting or whatever, whatever, you know, thing you're going for. So these are easy and these are done a while ago. So this is a, um, like a crackle background, as you can see, and I did it with white school glue and it has just some things on here, rain or shine, be you, believe, dream, celebrate each day. And this is just a flower I got at the dollar store, you know, on a um, scrapbook. Uh, if you look in their craft section, sometimes you get lucky. Uh, Tuesday morning has them as well, but dollar stores are good. A AC more in their clearance. You can find them, you know, you get like some flowers or whatever on stickies, you know, and then this is from a magazine and it is a woman looking, uh, you know, like at her shadow almost. And, you know, you can perceive that whatever way you choose. So that's all this really is very easy can be on an ATC card. You can see where, um, you could really cut this down even more or something. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever looked in a magazine? and thought that's a really cool picture. Cut it out, put it in a, cut it out, put it in a envelope or a yellow folder and just keep them all. So when you're stuck or you want to do something, um, you know, a lot of times I just sit here and art myself without doing the video. So you can, you know, really have, an idea and very easy. I know everybody keeps asking about the uh, crackle with white school glue. So I will do a video for that as well. Um, uh, you know, I just, I sit and these are old. Like I said, these are probably a couple of years old. Uh, so another one that I did very, very easily um, is I saw that picture in the magazine. I was like, Oh yes, please cut it out. And, um, rage. <laughs> and you can see, I just played around and very grungy and very, you know, uh, that's what it is. And that's how I felt at the minute. Um, again, cutting things out, cutting the words out. There's a lot of people that do that. A lot of people who do their art journals like that, their paintings, whatever. I love doing it like that. I have big envelopes full of stuff for me to do like this. And, um, you know, I'm going to do a couple because I want to do some quotes and stuff to do some videos for you guys. But here's another one. This is a uh, birdcage cut out of cardstock, which was used with my die cut machine. And this whole die comes with the bird and this. Now, easy to cut out, easy to buy in chipboard at your local craft store. Dollar store sometimes will have like, you know, like a piece of uh thing for sale where you get like a bird and this and that. Think of it like that. This says a bird doesn't sing because it has an answer. It sings because it has a song. This is a butterfly, dragonfly, what have you. I put some blue crystals on it just to kind of run, you know, pull that background. This is just a gritty looking background. I painted in blue. I use, this is one of my favorite things I got on clearance. It is cardstock or, or uh, scrapbook paper. And I wouldn't have bought this if I did not see it on clearance. And I bought it in a couple shades. I did, had no clue what I was going to do with it. And then I cut the bird out of it. I don't know exactly what I was doing, tracing that and then gluing that all on there. Who knows with my mind at the time. Um, but you can see the cool texture and it almost looks like water drops on it. So, I mean, I used it for that. I think I probably got the paper for 10 cents. It's a full scrapbook piece of paper. Uh... And then there's this. So this says, imagine, obviously with a stamp, sing your own song. This is, I mean, look at, look at the sparkle, look at the sparkle. And this is me knocking down all my stuff. I've had a heck of a day already today. And, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I haven't made a video in a couple of days and I'm just, I, I got a lot going on and whatever. Okay. So, 
Um, this is a picture I printed out from Google, and you probably could find clip art, and you probably would find this picture. Sing your own song I printed from my computer. Um, imagine, and I just Mod Podge that down. I put the word inspire here with a little, this is like two pieces of, I forget what the heck it was I was trying to do. It didn't work out. Um, and so I thought, oh, okay, you know what? I'm going to just continue painting on it. I put this delicious iridescent holographic -y, like uh, glitter down on the end on the, this part. And I made it myself, which I got I'm going to be doing that too. Printed this out, cut it in a oval shape, as you can see, added some glitter on the bird. I painted black first and then that, um, I took some, uh, 3d, uh, I like to use the fabric paint, fabric paint from the plaid. I know I had to use something like that. And then I kind of like made it so it looks 3d and then, you know, I just kind of darkened the edges and that kind of thing. And you can see it's red, <laughs> red background, very simple with some black mixed in. And that, I mean, that's all it is. All it is very simple, but to me, it meant something at the moment. This was my, sometimes I do these things. And then I do paintings, you know, I'm trying to think transfers. There's one other transfers, transfers. These are the things that I have been doing. Then of course, you know, this abstract that I did a couple months ago with the, uh, Ranger Tim Holtz distress pads. And I just took a lid from a, um, paint or toothpaste or whatever I have sitting here. And I just made some circles, went and doodled a little bit and you have an abstract piece. So there's so many things that you can do. So what we're going to do today is play with, yeah. Do I have an empty page in here? Okay. We're going to play with some perfect pearls, which are from Ranger. And you can get these in a, I think they come in a pack of four or five, like in the color scheme. Now, not for nothing, but Blitzy uh, has these uh, on their site and they have all kinds of colors. Um, and you can get them on there at a discount. Blitzy will discount up to like 70% on certain things. Um, I love Blitzy. I use them all the time. They have every arts or crafts you could possibly want from uh, acrylic painting, mixed media, sewing, quilting, clay. They have it all, every brand. Uh, if you don't have perfect pearls, maybe you have, I have some, I got to find them. The, uh, things that you sprinkle down the, uh, Ken Oliver. Oh, geez. Oh, Pete. You know, it's like watercolor powder that you put down and then you squirt and it kind of does a really cool thing. I will have to find them, but it's kind of like that if you know what they are. And if you do leave me the name down below for other people, because honestly, I just went blank, but I, you know, okay. And then what I have are, I'm going to use some distress powder, I think, which is from Tim Holtz. This is all, you can find all this on Blitzy. This, however, is Pearl X and I love Pearl X. These are from a uh, Jacquard and these are, oh, geez, oh, Pete, they are so, so everything to me. I love these. These are so old, too. I've, honestly, I've used these in clay back in the day, like way back in the day when I first started with clay and oil painting and so many things. So these are fantastic. If you ever see these, grab one. I mean, like, look, I mean, it's almost like my color shift paint. Now, what I'll do is I'm going to do this. And then if you want, let me know down below um, if you want to see it done kind of with paint. Um, if you don't have any of these and maybe you want to do a background or something. Okay. Okay. So enough of me talking. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just very lightly squirt. You see very easily far away. I don't want this saturated. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to play. I have a brush that comes with um, some of these Pearl X or perfect pearls. I'm sorry. I like to tap it because sometimes it can go all over and I'm going to dip this brush in here and I'm just going to like that. Okay. Very simple. And then I'll probably go in and just tap it off to get the extra because I hate wasting this. Okay. And that 
I don't know if they have colors on here. This is Forever Blue, if you want to know. And then this one is called, oh, geez, Mandarin. Oh, beautiful. So, same deal. I'm just going to stick the little corner in. I love when the brush falls apart with the little things on there. Again. Obviously, do as much, you know, you do as much as you want, but I'm just trying to show. And the reason I wet, wet a little bit of it first is because uh, Perfect Pearls and, and Pearl X and that kind of thing, they are activated by water. So the water I wanted down just so it would stick a little bit. So it didn't necessarily, you can always take your brush and do this all over if you want to get the extra out. And I didn't necessarily, there goes that fur coming from the brush. Oh God. All right. Perfect pearls. You do it, girl. Um, I'm just going to wipe it in here to try to get them loose. You don't want your brush to be wet. Okay. Because it'll make it like sticky and these are fun to use wet, but right now we're using them dry. Okay. And the little brush things are going to be in there. Why not? Okay. So now, I mean, look at this sheen. Mm, I mean, it's just gorgeous. How well you can see it. This is called grape fizz. Ooh, grape soda is my all time favorite. No lie. I haven't had it probably in a long time. The only time I get to have grape soda and orange soda, which I don't, I'm not a soda drinker is when I, I don't drink it anymore because of keto, but I go to my sister's on Friday nights, usually for dinner. We have like a family dinner and her husband will bring home, um, once in a while, grape or orange soda. And, um, him and I like to drink it because <laughs> it's like one of our favorite things, but, um, I don't drink it. Like I said, I don't do it now because of the keto and it, you know, I can only have so much. So, but it is, I do love it. Now you'll be able to go back and add more as you continue on. Um, this is blue raspberry speaking of <laughs> these, color, these names, these names, I'm just dipping. And you'll see why you don't want too, too much. Okay, I don't have nothing down here. So the next one's going to have to go down there. Let's do a sparkly, sparkly. Let's see. I don't, didn't do green yet. This is sour apple. Hands are not working today. Okay. And this is mint, which is a very iridescent uh, one. I don't know. It's hard to get on the camera, which really stinks sometimes because it's so pretty. All right. I'll put a lot there. And we got to do some pink gumball. Oh, that's one thing I miss is gum. Obviously, the higher up you put it, I mean, you know, it's powder. It's going to go everywhere, but you don't get as concentrated. Okay. Oh, my gosh. All right. It's fighting me today. Okay. And then I'm going to put just a little bit of the duo green yellow in. And that is a pearl X. And low, I mean, that's, I mean, it's a powder and like, I I've had these for years, 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 years. I got them. I remember buying a couple of them and I have a few colors, but, um, I bought them at this place called the rag shop. And I don't know if that is a national thing or not. I don't think they exist anymore. Um, but I remember going in and being like, Oh, I love these. Got to try them. And I just, I put them on quilt. I put them everywhere that I can. Okay. And this is just a little, I mean, this is how old it is. It doesn't even have the name on the top. It is called nothing. It's called perfect pearl. So there you go with that. Okay. So I think we're good. So I'm going to do a little bit of the, uh, Tim Holtz distrust powder. 
and I don't know how it is a different formula than the other so we'll see I just kind of want to sprinkle it around we'll see what it does okay we'll see and you can see the the brush is dry and there's nothing on it so what I'm going to do now is take my spray bottle and I'm going to start just a little bit because I want these wet Not too much, but enough. And I'm not even doing full squirts. I'm doing like just very, very, very light. And what I'm going to do is start kind of right. Oh, God, Gord does. Just leaving it run because I'm a runner. Look at that go. Now you see my pa my uh, page is kind of warping a little bit and that's okay. Look at them, how they're all just coming together. Um, it's okay if it bothers you real quick, you can kind of wet the other side. And what happens is it will become, it will kind of become flat again. And you can do that when you're painting or anything, you know, your page starts to warp on the one side because it's too wet, spray underneath, um, you know, or you could, pull out your page and do it on there. You can do it on printer paper, uh, whatever you want. You know, you just don't want to make it too wet because then you'll just lose all the color. Now I can see, you know, like over here, maybe I want a little bit more and you can see, I can do it this way. So it's running that way. I only do it a little bit at a time, the wire, because I don't want it to be, you know, I, I think those brush marks in there, the brush uh, bristles are really making, I can't even pick them all out, and nor am I. All right, so let me show you. I don't know if you can, no, my light's going to blind it out, blow it out. Maybe when it's dry. But this part down here is so... Uh, this one too, just so beautifully and shining, beautiful and shiny. Now, Hey, you don't have to do it on white page. Why not do it on a, um, let's see if I move this this way, uh, color, you know, paint it, use acrylic paint and paint it. Uh, uh, uh. I'm a mess today. Oh my God. Okay. But you know what I'm saying? Like paint it or put a black background and these would look great. Um, if you want to see me do that on a black background, let me know down below, pink, whatever colors you want. Okay. So you can see that. And what I'm going to do is add, I think I'm going to add a little bit more and the colors that I'm really digging, I'm digging the green here. I think that was this because I'd have to go rewatch the video. So what I'm going to do is I think what I'm going to do is I want a lot, but not a lot. You know what I mean? I'm just going to kind of dip my brush in and tap it a little bit, kind of like we're doing eyeshadow. Yeah, that was the color. And I'm going to just sprinkle because it's wetter than it normally would be. The same thing. I'm going to, I don't want too much, but I want enough. Okay. I always miss down the corner. I don't know. Poor corner. Probably feels so neglected. Now let's go into the duo red blue. I'm going to try. And again, just in there and yeah, I'm going to do a little bit more of that. I loved going in the caps too and just giving a little tappy poo. Okay. And maybe some of this, maybe do I have gold here or copper? Let's see the copper. Is it called copper? What are you called there, baby? Perfect bronze. From Perfect Pearls, and that's gorgeous. Yeah. You don't want too much because obviously it'll muddy it up. So that's why I like to do it kind of, you know, in pieces, as they say. In pieces, I'm in pieces. And then let's try a little bit of the grape soda or whatever it's called. I'm going to go close with this one. On the bottom. Okay. All right. 
I know. It, it's You can do a lot more in the beginning if you want. Like I said, you have to do it your own way and experiment, but it's a lot of fun. I'm not going to lie. All right, now I'm going a little heavy, but that's okay. And then I'm going to add a little bit more of this distress powder because, oh, I can dust my finger off right in there. You go, boy, because it's not going to really do much until it's all wet. And I think I'm going to just like, why does it smell like candy? No, that's not it. <laughs> that wasn't what it is. I don't know what it is, but that was not it. And I'm just going to sprinkle it through because it's not going to stick the same way, but maybe it'll be enough for what I want to do. Here we go. Now more water. So I'm just going to go up above like that and leave it sit for a second because you're going to see that it all kind of will do its own thing. Again, once this sits for a second, if you start seeing your paper, I can see my paper going, I'll lift it and spray underneath again and it'll lay flat. So I'm just going to go right on those heavy spots. Oh my God. It's like marble. It's, it's so good. So good. Now you can see why doing big ploops might not be what you want to do. I'm going to show you, obviously y'all know what I do with ploops, but, um, what I like to do is I just let them run. And I try not to let the water run off onto the, you know, I mean, I'm working on my nonstick mat here, which, you know, work on a piece of wax paper or whatever you have another piece of paper. But I, I, I like to kind of keep the water on here the best that I can until I'm done. See like this color, I really, so what I'm going to do is just go in there <laughs> and I want it to run because it's iridescent. And you can see, see how that is? Oh, it's so nice. And the iridescent. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave it like this and I'm going to dry it. So I got my heat gun, uh, use a hair dryer. Doesn't matter. Now the heat gun will, the distress powder should emboss because I have the heat gun. If you don't have you know, if you're not using an embossing uh, powder, then you don't need to worry about it. Use your hair dryer, just leave it dry. But I am going to maneuver some of this extra water into like a little pattern kind of thing. Oh, it's just gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. And I'm going to do this on uh, actual fabric. I don't know if you guys want me to do it. I'm going to do it as one of my art doll backgrounds. I just love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And you can see it dries very quickly. So if you're using any type, any type of embossing powder, the water is kind of what is uh, holding it and sticking it, you know, on there as if you're using a, uh, you know, embossing adhesive, which they do have for Perfect Pearl. I'm not using it in this instance, but it's called Perfect Medium, so you can stamp and that kind of thing with it. Like I said, go check Blitzy, the link's down below. It is so good. So good. So good. Okay, so I think you guys get, you're picking up what I'm putting down. I'm not going to stare and dry all day. However, you can see, look, do I need my light back? There you go. Look at that. And you can see the iridescence. So one, and I am not a Ranger fan. I'm not going to lie to you. Ranger has really good things that I've been trying, but they're not, they're not as um, customer friendly as I want them to be, I guess. Uh, I'm sure they get a lot of people. Uh, my dilutions though, however, every time I get them, they dry out. I don't know. I have tons of paint. I have folk art paint from back in the day. And um, they don't dry out like these. So, I mean, you know, but whatever. They're not, they just say, okay, thanks for telling me or the ink pads or whatever. But some of their things are really good. This is something I do enjoy. So as you can see, I mean, look at that. It's like marbled and delicious and you get all that texture. So 
if you do this on a piece, let's say of watercolor paper or printer paper or what have you, and you're like, well, what do I do with it now? I always tell you guys, maybe you're in an ATC swap. Maybe you want to just send out ATCs to somebody for a random act of kindness. Um, do this on a piece of watercolor paper, printer paper, whatever, uh, and then go and measure, measure on the back, you know, where you didn't do what you just did. Uh, so you don't mess this up and go ahead and, you know, cut it into your pieces. So you have some kind of regularity, you know what I mean? Running through your ATCs that you're doing. Um, and then, you know, you're kind of, you kind of have a theme. Maybe you have, you know, this is one through five for you and you make five ATC cards and these are the backgrounds and the colors. And I mean, it's just gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. Now, again, like I said, you can dry, you do whatever. Uh, the water does make it permanent. Um, so it won't necessarily come off. You just want to make sure that if you have bigger sections, you know, that you kind of make sure that they dry and that they uh, stay on here. Uh, I would probably just throw a real quick uh, Mod Podge paper over it um, just to keep it. But as you can see, you also can re-wet it. You know, so you just want to, you just want to play and have fun. Um, and that's what, that's what art is about. So this is playing with the perfect pearls. Like I said, uh, doing a background, very simple. What do we do on top? I'll do a video this week and we'll do a couple things on top. Maybe I'll cut them out like the ATC cards. Maybe I'll do an art journal page. I don't know. But you see, I'm just drawing it. So it's these. You can paint on top of this. You can, um, I just love, I just love this stuff. Oh my gosh. You can go thicker if you want it to be darker. As you can see, let me just show you. You see this bit up here? Uh, it's not showing as dark. I mean, look at that iridescence to it. But that is dark. Like that's a darker part than necessarily down here, right? So you could do, oh, so good. So good, so good. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know down below. Let me know your opinion and if you guys have these and what you guys like to do with them. And yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this. Uh, if you just found me and you would like to be subscribed to me, please subscribe. Join our little family here and uh, click that subscribe button down below. Click the bell next to it. That'll notify you when I upload. And if you are already subscribed to me and have not clicked that bell, click it now because a lot of you are not getting my uploads. And so if you click it, even though you've been subscribed to me, it'll guarantee that you get a notification of my uploads. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Progress, not perfection. I love to play. That is my new thing. I'm going through all my stuff, all my requests, and I'm really uh, having a blast, you know, just doing these kind of things. So you guys have a fantastic blessed day and share me everywhere if you uh want to i appreciate it and i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye